Today's topics are FAQs, acne stress, intolerance and skincare. Hi everyone, it's Mel from Ron Irishman here and welcome back to another episode. Well today I wanted to address a couple of frequently asked questions that came up in my previous video, How to Cure Acne. Now I noticed in some of the comment sections some of you guys are struggling with acne or you have some pimples and it's decreasing your confidence. So there's a couple of things also that I want to add to that video. The first one is stress. For me, whenever I become stressed, my skin becomes inflamed. Now it does appear along the jawline and underneath the skin. Now coming to the high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle, it's not just about eating the right foods, it's a lifestyle change. So what I have done is I've decreased the amount of stress in my life. I'm not surrounding myself with negative people and I am practicing meditation as, as often as I possibly can. I haven't I'm not in the process of doing it daily, but this is something that I'm trying to work on. So stress is massive, guys. It is so massive. To me, that's when I notice that my skin becomes inflamed. So I don't know if this is something that is happening with you. I know a lot of you are struggling with your skin at the moment, and I know exactly how you feel. As I said before in my previous video, my skin wasn't that bad, but it did decrease my confidence. The second thing that I want to talk about is food intolerances. When you come to the high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle, you will notice that you will become so sensitive to even the slightest amount of things. The other thing is that I find if I'm eating too many nuts or seeds or avocados, so your overt fats, that's where my skin does suffer. It doesn't get as inflamed as it used to, but it is something that does trigger it. Another question someone was asking me was about my skincare routine. Now. I have shown this in vlogs before, but I will explain it to you. I'm not going to demonstrate right now, but my skincare routine is almost non-existent. <laughs> um, I wash my face with water and I use a microfiber cloth to clean my face a little bit more deeply. I try not to do it every day so the natural oils in my skin have a chance to develop, but it is basically just water and a microfiber cloth. And I don't believe that we should be spending lots and lots of money on products to help our skin. I just find that my skin is has never been better by eating this way. I do notice that in winter my skin becomes a lot drier so what I do is I add some coconut oil on after I get out of the shower and then just pat it dry and I find that that works best for me. Well there you go everyone, they are the answers to your FAQs and I hope that I have been able to answer them in enough depth for you. Let me know if you have any other questions for me, just comment in the section below and I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. Alright guys, remember just continue to make better choices, be your own doctor, try and kill your body from the inside out eating whole ripe fresh fruits and vegetables. Thanks for your love and support and I will see you next episode. Bye! If you would like to be featured in an introduction to any of my videos then please check out the link in the description and I can't wait to see what you do. Now in my transformational videos I've shown you the before and afters but I've never spent enough time talking about my process and the journey around how to get amazing, beautiful skin.